Jesus Christ dear children This whole year we are learning about the source of divine life who is our God and how he invites each one of us to have that divine life with him Today we will learn the remaining part of our lesson God who leads to salvation in chapter 6 First we shall start our class with a small prayer so children keep your back straight join your hands and close your eyes please repeat after me dear god thank you for my home and my entire family thank you for the love you give each one of us so that we can share it with others keep us safe in your loving hands amen before we start the lesson let us have a recap of the previous class what did we learn in the first part of chapter 6 do you all remember we learned about israel god's own people they lived in egypt at that time a new pharaoh he ruled egypt he did not like the israelites he hated them he harassed them and made them do a lot of hard work this king was very very cruel and he ordered to kill all the male children of the israelites thus the israelites became very unhappy and their life in egypt became more miserable then we saw god appeared to moses in a burning bush where children on mount horeb and chose him to free his people the israelites from the slavery and the miserable life under the pharaoh so god sent him to pharaoh to tell him to end the slavery of the israelites and to bring them out of egypt moses was very scared to go and meet the pharaoh you know what he did he went to his brother aaron and told him to meet pharaoh and tell the requirement he told pharaoh to set the israelites free but the pharaoh being very cruel he did not agree to free the israelites very sad then we saw that when the pharaoh refused to let the israelites free god had a plan for his chosen people now let us continue the remaining part of chapter 6 god who leads to salvation i want all of you to pay attention okay children moses following the voice of god met pharaoh and asked him to set the israelites free but pharaoh being very cruel did not allow to free the israelites moses warned pharaoh repeatedly that god would punish egypt for not allowing the israelites to be free Pharaoh did not take him seriously. He continued to trouble the Israelites. Children, then do you know what happened? God decided to punish them by sending 10 different plagues one after the other. Do you know children what a plague is? A plague includes different types of disasters including an infectious disease which causes a lot of trouble and it spread rapidly by killing whole lot of people. 
some of the plagues that God had sent upon Egypt includes water turning into blood. Can you imagine all the water in Egypt turned into red blood, pure blood. Nobody could drink that water because it's blood. People who lived in Egypt were suffering. Then later on, frogs started covering every inch of the land of Egypt. Frogs were everywhere, inside the houses, inside Pharaoh's palace also. Even then, Pharaoh did not agree to free the Israelites. Look at him. Then later on, what happened? Insects and locusts poured out into the farm. It destroyed every crop and trees. Darkness covered the land of Egypt. Pharaoh was still stubborn. He did not allow the Israelites to be free. Then finally, every male child born in Egypt started to die, including the son of Pharaoh and many more children in Egypt. God loved the Israelites and thus he protected them from all the plagues. Pharaoh and Egyptians were very much troubled by them. Many Egyptians lost their lives. Deeply troubled by all these, Pharaoh begged Moses to stop the plague and promised him to set the Israelites free. Moses then spoke to the Israelites, told them about the promised land that God had prepared for them. And then he led all the Israelites out of the land of Egypt. Thus, under the leadership of Moses, the Israelites came out of Egypt. Everybody, including the adults, children and the aged, they started their journey to Canaan, the promised land, under whose leadership? under the leadership of Moses. Now children, wasn't that so awesome? Finally, the cruel Pharaoh had to agree to free the Israelites. Who are the chosen people of God? Out of slavery and their miserable life in Egypt. And then, when the people started going towards the land of Canaan, do you know, my dear children, what happened? When the Israelites reached the shore of the Red Sea, the Pharaoh changed his mind. He commanded all his soldiers to get the people back by force. He sent an army of soldiers behind them to take them back. But dear children, God saved them with his miracle. Children, do you know what was the miracle which happened at that time? God commanded Moses to stretch out his hand towards the Red Sea. Suddenly and surprisingly, the waters on the sea moved to both the sides. Yes, children, can you imagine this? The power of our Almighty God when the water moved to the sides, there was a clean path in front of the Israelites to walk. Through the Red Sea, they walked. They crossed the rest three, dear children. What a wonderful miracle to save his beloved people. The Israelites walked through the sea along the path in front of them as if they were walking on a dry land. The sea stood like a wall on both the sides. Moses now saw the soldiers of Pharaoh coming after them. He stretched out his hand again. And what happened? 
the sea came back to its place with water gushing down with huge force all the egyptian soldiers following them were drowned and died so children through this lesson we saw god saving his people his own chosen people the israelites god protected them from all different dangers he led them to the land of canaan protecting them and working wonders among them in this way god led israelites to salvation we must always praise our loving god for always protecting us and saving us from all different difficulties and danger he is a loving father who is always protecting us and keeping us safe isn't that children my dearest children let us see whether you have understood the lesson clearly or not i want all of you to listen to the question think about it and give me the answer now you tell me how many plagues did god sent on egypt That's the right answer. God sent 10 plagues on the land of Egypt. Second question. Finally, when did Pharaoh set the Israelites free? Think about it. Yes. When the first born son of Pharaoh died in the plague, he became very sad. and did not want any more trouble in egypt so he told moses that god's people are free and they are slaves no more very good now the third question to which land did god lead the moses along with the israelites yes God led Moses along with Israelites to the land of Canaan. Very good children, I am very happy. Now, it's activity time. I want all of you to pay attention. You can do it as homework. So dear children, for this you want to take a blue chart paper, some pencils and crayons. Cut out the chart paper in the middle as shown in the picture. Then make some small strips of blue chart paper in the middle now call these strips of paper away from the middle just like the parting of the red sea you can make some pictures of people or you can stick some image of people and stick it in the middle dry ground look at the picture here and you will get an idea how to go about with it now the front pick you can name as moses and the remaining people are the israelites who are following moses when they are crossing the sea doesn't that wonderful a beautiful miracle of god to save his people from the soldiers of pharaoh I want you to make it as creative as possible. Take a picture of your craft and send it to your catechism teacher before our next class. All right? Now, let us conclude our class with a short prayer. I want all of you to repeat after me. Dear God in heaven, thank you for protecting us every day. Thank you for filling our hearts with joy and our minds with learning. Amen. So my dear children, I'll see you in the next week with the 7th chapter. Praise be to Jesus Christ.